Well, you two. How you doing? George here. And uh, I just said I'd put up a little video of this guy. This is uh, one of my own. That's recently been added to the collection here. Uh, Midland 8001S. Uh, never had one of these before. And uh, the opportunity of this came up. So I said we'd have a look at it. So uh, it's only been here a few days. So we uh, we stuck in an Irish Custom Radios insert in the meter. Black one. And... Uh, we did silly little things like paint in the the lines on the end part of the the knobs here as they were just they weren't painted in so it just kind of matches the ones that was on the the outer knobs they were done from the factory like that so um this thing has all this carry on here echo roger beep frequency or counter or uh frequency readout or uh, channel readout with band so the, let's see if it changes lad here F9 you know there's G H I J K like it goes away off up to uh, 29 29.9 we'll say and uh, yeah I had uh, done a bit of a live on a triple five with it there some of you might have seen it and uh it's, it's very superstar 3900 esque uh inside this thing it's very very similar to the to the ebt 60 10 uh, 6900 10z board with a few little tweaks it has a an adapter where the uh, channel encoder would normally go in on the likes of a 3900 um uh this has like a little adapter on it to uh, make the encoder work so it's probably like just a, an encode uh, generator type job and uh, it has the mods in it there for the counter as well and all that kind of stuff so um, yeah it's it's nice variable output power it's a twin it's a dual final radio so I would expect to see 20 watts on sideband anyway uh, probably a, a probably a matched pair of 1969s or 2312s in there. It could be MOSFET. I don't know. I didn't look at it that close. But um, nice little radio. So uh, we give it a good clean and uh, put the new case screws in it and all that. Carry on. And uh, as I said, one for the collection. And we're quite pleased with it. And uh, we're going to leave it as is now. And uh, took all the knobs off and washed them and got all the dirt off the the rubber. But um, yeah, had it on here all day today. And uh, it's behaving itself quite well. So there you have it. Other than that, not much else to report. All is quiet, very warm. 29 degrees in the, in the shed here as I... Um, as I'm making this video, so it's nice and warm, but it's great to get it, you know. Uh, for a country that gets so much rain as we do, it's nice to get a bit of sunshine. Uh, let's see, outside of that, not much else been going on. Very busy there for about 10 days or so. Done up the young fella's bedroom. And uh, that turned into a total refit, so we stripped it out. Uh, all that was left in it was the wall and the floors and the ceiling and uh started again so i've moved a bit of stuff around and new floor lick of paint Ugh, all that kind of stuff so um that's it so anyway we'll be back soon with something else i'm sure take care and 73 this is george bye bye